Okay, this is Craig Dabler. I want to go over a couple things since I don't have directions that are written yet and I want to when people get this uh, this is the whip that's your crucible you just spread these open place that right in there fits just like that I like to have it so I can pour with the left but you could put it the other way you could pour with the right so uh, next thing I want to do is this is the concho pattern and so what I'm going to do is just put a little powder on that and I'm going to set it down there and then using this side of the flask that has the edge on it right here you can see that that's going to go down that's the first one that goes down and so we want to get the pattern centered in there and we'll just push that down in there and we take our hammer we hammer that down Okay, once we have that hammer down, take something flat like this and shave off the excess. Then we pick that up, move that off. Now what we want to do is just kind of carve away around the edge here. So you only want to have about <clears throat> half of the pattern covered with sand on each side. This way it'll be much easier to remove. Okay. Now that we have that, then we push that off there. Then we take the other side, line it up. Just like so. Set that down. Take your powder. I have an old sock here and I have baby powder in it. Uh, I think talc works the best, but at the moment I just have baby powder. Do that. And we want to put our sand in there. And you know, to be honest with you, I would have a separate thing for sand because I, I got a little baby powder on this sand and you know, it's better not to mix it if at all possible. You can reuse this sand, so it's best not to have, you know, the baby powder mixed in with it. So now we're going to hammer this down, get it nice and firm in there around the pattern. Now you want to take your plate, move off the excess, just like that. I like to kind of cut around this a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, before I separate them. Okay. Wow. Well, that popped right apart. I was not expecting that, but... It didn't hurt it at all, so we're just going to go with it here. So now, carefully pick that up, pull that off. So now we want to cut this right here so there's a little more of an area that's big enough for the metal to travel down and get to the piece. And I like to kind of pack it down because I don't want to have any foreign pieces shoot down into the mold. So if I, if I pack it down, that kind of helps with that. Now I'll take the other side 
And I'll cut away just a little bit here. You don't want to cut away too much. You can take the back of something, you can take something round back of the paintbrush here. Kind of pack that down. Make sure that there's no sand in the channel here so that when the two pieces go together, of course we want to line them up again. We want them to go together just exactly how we pulled them apart. Okay, so now We'll get rid of this, and we'll take the AccuPore, set it right there, keep that together. Let's see, I'm going to turn that around. Now we're going to tighten that down, just like that. Okay, we've got to get some silver here. A couple pieces I cast the other day. Throw that in there. I think we'll just do them both. Take a little bit of borax. Put it down on the metal. So now it's ready to go. Get the torch going. Now I like to have the crucible up off the acupore while I heat it so that the acupore being steel doesn't draw the heat out of the crucible. That's heating pretty quickly here. Want to make sure we get this tip up here nice and hot. If the tip is nice and hot, then the metal will flow over the tip really well. It won't get stuck. So you can see that's getting really good there. Heat that up a little more. Now we'll set it down on the AccuPore and just dump it. I had way too much metal and of course a bunch of it went over the side. That's okay, the majority went in the hole. So what we'll do is we'll open this up. Just gonna dump that out. Grab a towel here. And we have a very good casting of the concho. And really, that's, that's about it. All right. Thank you.